It's Monday morning and Maria just sent me a text. I'm not sure if she sent it last night or this morning, but they're heading back here this morning. They're leaving at 7 and it's 7.40 right now. So they should have left if they left on time. Uh, my first patient is until 1 p.m. So I'm going to head to the gym first, get my run in. 5K, probably just 5K. My back's a little tweaked for some reason. So maybe 5K and then I'm going to Go get my hair cut, it's getting kind of poofy. And then after that, I wanna to head to the Lego store because they have the June 1st promotion of the Winter Soldier starting today. And first come, first serve, you have to spend um, some money to get it. And I might just get some stuff from the pick a brick wall since that doesn't really go on sale like other Lego sets. So we'll do that. Um, then head to work. I'm done late tonight. I'm done around 8 p.m. So I probably won't see them unless they come home. I'm not sure. We'll see. So it's Monday morning here in Brigantine, New Jersey. And we're supposed to leave at 7. Supposed to? Eh, we don't really have a time schedule to keep you. So that's all, all good. The only thing is I'm the only one awake at the moment because I never sleep. Well, I did sleep, but 5, 6 is a lot. So I'm trying to get us ready and uh, sorted before we leave. I just found out that it's quite cold back at home. It's 8 degrees Celsius right there, verging I think a high of 15 today versus here we're leaving and right now it's already 24 degrees. So I gotta look for some clothes hee <laughs> hee to wear that's warm. <clears throat> I think I have a pair of yoga pants left in my gym bag but otherwise I brought only summer wear because you know it's supposed to be summer vacay. Okay, getting all the people up. Good workout today. I did eight kilometers, three more than last week where we did five kilometers all last week. I'm planning on doing eight kilometers this week and it felt pretty easy aside from the fan not working above the treadmills making the run pretty hot. It was good. It was all right. The back held up okay. No tweaky ankles, calves and hamstrings were fine. Now I'm going to go try to get my hair cut, get this poofy hair down. On our way home. Last walk down. This hall. You had fun? Here we are at Shareway Gardens Mall. Ready to go to the Lego store. And here at the Lego store, I'm planning on getting the Winter Soldier Poly Bag. You have to spend over $75 on any Lego set or any Lego in general. So I wonder what we can get. But here are a bunch of sets in the window, all nicely displayed. And on the back here, can see the ferris wheel which is another big set not getting it though here are some superhero sets that we don't have eventually when they do go on sale i want to pick them up we have this one though haven't built it yet i did do the stop motion build of that set and here are some jurassic world sets these dinosaurs are very impressive very big eventually when these go on sale I like to pick them up too. Here are the Jurassic World sets and as you can see the prices are a bit expensive but eventually they will go on sale at Toys R Us. So that's when I can pick them up when they are cheaper. And here are some of the sets built in the window. This is the Slave 1, UCS Slave 1. Very nice looking set. And I don't have this one, I probably won't get it. Ooh, this is new, the Piggy like that and the butterfly friends here we have a dollar off the cmf packs and we have another sale here i wonder if maria will get these mixels for the boys tomorrow when they go for the monthly mini build and here is what i want to get the winter soldier that's the promotion so this is the pick a brick wall and i got two of these pick a brick cups Here it is, the exclusive Winter Soldier poly bag from Captain America or the Avengers here. So this is a very cool minifigure. So far it only came out in the UK, but now we have it here in Canada and I finally got my hands on this. We're going to add this to the heli carrier when uh, we open it up. Okay, first stop out of Brigantine, we passed Philadelphia and that was crazy traffic to a Barnes and Noble so we can get coffee and you know, touch books. 
Here are the pick-a-brick cups that I got from the Lego store. You can see I have one, two, three, four, three large and one small. And in this pick-a-brick cup, we have some 4x4 four four green plates that I got. And we got some 2x2 two two tan tiles, some 2x2 two two orange tiles, some black cones, some trans green cones, and red cones here. So I can use these pieces for my micro builds. I was looking for something that I can use. I know I can use these green pieces. The green plates I use up a lot, really quickly. So I got two stacks full of that. And then in this pick a brick cup, we have some four by six blue plates. We got some one by four reddish brown tiles, some green slopes, some one by two light blue plates, and some orange trans cheese slopes. So again, I can use these pieces for some micro builds, for the micro city, or for the amusement park. And then in this pick a brick cup, we have some 1x2 blue plates, some 1x4 reddish brown tiles, some 2x6 tan plates, and up at the top, what's this? We got some more green trans cylinders so again good pieces good useful pieces and over here we got some two by four lime green plates some four by four brown reddish brown plates and up at the top some more cheese um, trans cheese pieces these orange trans cheese pieces so great pickups here Usually Maria's the one that gets the pick a brick cups, but I gave it a try and uh, the Lego store employees were helping me out because I was asking them if there's anything else in the back and they said, yeah, you get, we can uh, get stuff for you. Barnes and Noble exclusive and it's ruled, but online this cover is only for plain paper. Must get this. Minecraft. Diamond Steve? Yeah. Yeah. And what's your selection? <laughs> oh. Regular Steve? Here's a look at July store calendar. And what do we have here? Free space vehicle with a purchase of over $35. I guess the astronaut is cool. Uh, we got another poster. And I guess that's the new set, but it's already out in stores. The mini build is a whale with little water sprouting out. Early access to a new set. I'm not sure what that is for July. Hmm. I don't know. And yeah, I think that's all for the first page here. What are we getting now, Mason? More treats on a treat. On a Monday? And the back of the page, you can see the new Star Wars sets coming out. We got some Mixels, Juniors, there's the Green Goblin, but I've seen that out in stores already. New opening in Winnipeg. Yay, Winnipeg. That's a cool uh, little set there with the dragon. I wonder if they'll be getting that. And just some other events. That's a cool torso for Max. And I think that's about it. We're still about 500 kilometers away from home. Just lots of pretty green hills and I miss a whole lot of them earlier. We're here taking a quick stop. There hasn't been a rest stop for miles and miles ever since we uh, entered New York City. So we had to exit. I don't even know where our exit was, but we needed to get food. Then we found Chinese food to take out and pizza. I don't know if my mom's in the pizza place though. But this guy too was already getting restless. So I needed to change his boom. And now he's getting a little bit of a snack. <laughs> And you? <laughs> Back from the Lego store and my haircut. Kind of short now, which is good. Nice and clean cut. Now I'm gonna head to the clinic for some patience. So after almost 10, 12 hours of driving, I mean, that included all of our stopovers here. We're back home 
almost. And then they're gonna ask us how much we spent at the border. But you know, after spending four days there, I don't think they really care. Oh, hello. Yes. Yes. Okay, so we're finally back home-ish. Uh, we just dropped off my mom at her place and unloaded the van for what her items are. That said, I feel like I have uh, a ton of laundry to do, but at least we got home safe and sound. I racked up a whole lot of mileage with this trip and you know, like in any trip, it's always so exciting on the way there. Lots of fun and energy and tolerate whatever. Today was quite a rainy day that I felt quite sleepy on the way home. Uh, and even at one point, I actually just took a quick 20 minute nap at one of those rest stops. Put on one of my eye shades and just napped, which was good. It actually uh, was um, was energizing after and then I drove straight through, stopping just twice for some snacks. Um, but otherwise, the uh, border crossing was uneventful. Uh, the guy was joking saying oh were you able to bring like alcohol over from Costco and I said sadly no sadly I couldn't even find a Costco with alcohol the way they have it in Detroit and apparently it's because New Jersey has different uh, liquor license uh, plans so but otherwise a very fun trip would we go back I don't know I think we we're done I'd go back to Atlantic City and stay in Atlantic City I'm not sure if I would necessarily go back to Brigantine which is that small uh, strip of uh, New Jersey bit I'd rather be in the city or I'll just go to, you know, other places. I guess the fun part about the uh, long drive was the fact that I was able to almost finish another audiobook on the way back home. This time it's um, The Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare. It's her other series of, I guess, Mortal Instruments book. It's uh, pretty good and again, what a great way to kill a lot of time just reading a book as you're driving.